Are you willing to start your own cooperative business? Or perhaps you're wondering how to go on about it and make it work? Well, Dekla Training and Project is an institution that works together with the Department of Higher Education and Training, meaning we qualify to train, mentor, and even coach students all around the world. Now, we do offer cooperative governance and administration courses here at Dekla. All you have to do is contact us on 045-838-1904. That's 045-838-1904 for all your inquiries. Now, join me as I meet the students that we have all the way from King Williamstown. Mama, how are you? Why are you here at the Clanum Um, first of all, I'm not a Chinese Ghana. Yes. From my father's location, that's in the Middle East. I am a farmer. I'm farming with chickens and I'm now venturing into vegetable production. Nice. This came about where we sat down as cousins and we thought of what can we do, what legacy can we do. Mm -hmm. Because most of us are involved in different uh, sectors. Some are in engineering, construction, and farming. Yes, yes. So we said, what can we do to make, to leave the legacy of the family? Mm -hmm. So we thought of a co-op, we yes. formed the co-op. Nice. And then we said, what further can we do? You know, who could empower each other? so that we get into this mm -hmm. with all the information. That you need, yes. We, we don't have time to stumble. Mm -mm. We've got food <laughs> to produce. Yes. So basically we came to Dikla to get some knowledge. Oh, is it? To do a course. So the courses have commenced already? Yes, the course has commenced already. It's a uh, good principles mm -hmm. and governance of it cooperatives. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, this is like, it's, it's, it's very rare. Nobody really talks about cooperative business um, or other courses. Um, how important is it to actually get to that field and actually study for this cooperative um, governance training thing? How important is it? As I've just said, most of us have already are already involved in different um, yes. entities. And you know, for me, it's my fifth year trade uh, farming as a funky farmer. And it's only now that I've seen where I've been going wrong. Mm. You may know your story. I know how to farm. I can produce anything. Yes. I can read anything <laughs> to it. But the nitty gritties of running this entity, those laws and guides that we have to follow, it's not about only producing. Mm -hmm. You have to translate this into a sustainable business. For it, for it to be sustainable, you have to learn about those things. And most of us haven't been exposed to finances, mm. how to manage people. Remember, there's this concept of thinking we are running projects. We're not running projects, we're running businesses. Yeah. So for these businesses, you have to have staff, you have to have contracts in place. Definitely. We have to be compliant with the Department of Labor. Mm -hmm. We've lost out on a lot of opportunities funding opportunities, yeah. relief funding opportunities because of non-compliance. So attending this course that has been, you know, facilitated by people for the past <laughs> Yes. I think we, we are just gelling with her because I keep telling her that I'm 46 years mm -hmm. but you are just mentioning things that are opening up my mind exactly. into yes. how to effectively run my business. Beautiful. So we are a group of three members that are here. Mm -hmm. uh, Sazu Sonyikana, myself, Nori Sonyikana, and our Vuluwe Tumwa Shola is a graduate in agriculture. Nice. I'm also a graduate Definitely, I mean, you're a farmer. <laughs> so is an engineer. engineer. So we're coming with different, um, you can see we're coming from different fields, we've got other cousins, remember we said it's a family entity. Yes. So it starts from there, but we've got a big social responsibility that we've taken upon our shoulders. Okay. Hence we've included the agricultural graduates, the youth from our community. Beautiful. We've got two of them with the Bachelor of Agriculture. 
character from Forte and Fort Cox. I love it. I love it. That is just perfect. I am speechless. <laughs> now tell me, Mama, one last question I have for you. Now let's say I have this idea of actually just starting this business of my own, but now you probably join, you, you probably hear about it and you feel like joining within the idea that I have. And then does that necessarily mean now that I had the idea, I'm going to be like the manager, the boss, or maybe the CEO, maybe you guys will have to take orders from me. Does it mean that or it's just like we are just equal or I don't know, please explain that for me, please. <laughs> I think we will spend about an hour when we <laughs> got it? to that topic. Maybe I should join the class. <laughs> I think even the, the other facilitators that joined us yesterday, they, they had a blast because it's, we're so interacting Isn't in the it's classroom. fascinating, I know. So, to answer your question, there's no possibility. Oh, nice, okay. Remember, it's a cooperative. Okay. Okay. We're coming here with different people for more so when I asked him when I have I've been involved in projects in, in uh, co-ops not as a co-op member but watching it working for the Department of Water and I've seen how quickly they seem to fight when it comes to money mm -hmm. and I was like Zivu explain this to us we are equal we are a co-op mm -hmm. Maybe we've got equal shares, as we are saying. Mm -hmm. But now there should be ranks. Mm -hmm. there's, there's the chairperson here. There's a production manager here. There are board members here who are taking all the responsibility of ensuring that this runs, you know, as so planned, uh, even further than planned. And then, of course, we will have those that are still um, uh, uh, co-op members but that have to work in the fields. Yes. How do you balance these things? So even today I'm happy to say after the interview we're getting back into Ooh. that topic. So you will have to come back to me every day before I leave and ask how do you think as Imbeli so sustainable as a co-op you will work out so mm. that nobody feels uh, an, an underdog and nobody feels superior. Yes. And we're coming up with nice ideas. Oh, nice. Mm. Social cohesion, you know, empowering others is what we are, are about. Thank of you course, so money will come. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, Thank there you. you had it, guys. Let's stick to training and projects, and we'll definitely get you home. <laughs>